Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another player prop video. This one we're talking about the MLB for Tuesday, August 20th. In the video, we have four picks for you guys to consider, so stay tuned to hear all four of the picks we got. Also, check out Prop Projections. We're partnering with them this MLB season. They put out a spreadsheet of between 100 and 300 projections for the MLB. Yesterday, I know the top four here I looked up all hit. They give you the prize picks line, their projection, and the winning percentage on the side. But you could download it, and it's fully customizable here. Changes the winner, winning percentage, all that, and filterable. You could join free on their Patreon. They send out the occasional free spreadsheet, or you could join for just a dollar per spreadsheet. If you click join, set how many you want to get per month here at a dollar per spreadsheet. Also, if you guys want more picks, use code MLB here for a private Discord pass for more picks for me, plus five, plus other cappers. We've been crushing in here. You could see some recent wins over in the Discord in the MLB. We also got Taco Tuesday today, so great day to be playing MLB. So we'll see you guys over in the Discord for more picks and talk about player props. And also check out the prop projections spreadsheet. So let's get into this one. The first pick we're going to go to is going to be Austin Gomber over on his strikeouts at 3.5. So for Gomber, definitely a tougher matchup against Washington as far as strikeouts. Surprisingly, Washington, a team that doesn't strike out a ton. But we got a low line here from Gomber. This one's already dropped from yesterday. It was at four flat. Now we're getting at three and a half. I'm coming over here to Outlier. Outlier, a tool that I'm going to use all video. Best place to get data, in my opinion, for player props. You can use the link down below to get a free trial on Outlier if you haven't. But you can see here, this one over on three and a half. It's a 57% hit rate for him. In his last six games, only one of them he's gone under on this line. We can also scroll up and toggle this, and we can only look at away games. Actually, a much better pitcher on the road as well. A 69% hit rate, 9 of 13 games, and all of his last five he's gone over this one. He's had some success against these batters in minimal at-bats. Ruiz, he struck him out in one of two at-bats. And then call, he struck him out in two of his five at-bats as well. Scrolling down, the hesitation here is that Washington is really good against left-handed pitchers as far as not striking out. Fifth least in the league, under a 20% K rate. But Gomber's K rate is only 17%. So honestly, if he can get him at 20%, he should be hitting this one. Also, Gomber, when he gets blown out, like in this one, he only pitched three innings. So in this game that's expected to be closer, he should be able to go more innings, obviously more chances for strikeouts as well in closer games. So definitely liking this one from Gomber. Going to be going to him for the first pick. For the second one, we're going to Joey Estes here under on his strikeouts at four and a half against Tampa Bay. We can look up Estes over here on Outlier as well. See 56% of his games so far this year, he's gone under. And in his last four, three of his last four have gone under as well, including some pretty easy matchups against the White Sox where he went under and the Angels. At home, four of seven games, he's gone under the strikeout amount as well. And yet another tool I like to use a lot for player props is Odds Jam. They give you top value picks based on what other sports books have. So Joey Estes, one of their favorite picks under here. You can see on other sports books, it's minus 140 on FanDuel, minus 135 on Pinnacle. So all these sports books basically liken it to go under. Great tool just to check your props. Make sure you're not going heavily against these sports books. But also a great place to just find value picks on sites like prize picks. And another one we're going to from here on Odds Jam, Mitch Keller over five and a half hits against the Rangers. Minus 135, like across the board on these first three sites, minus 134, minus 140 over here on this site. So Sportsbooks, again, liking this one and a good place to find these props. I'm liking this one as well, Mitch Keller, over on the five and a half hits. So if we look at this one on the season, 58% of games he's gone over this. His last two games, eight and seven hits given up. And he'll commonly pitch a good amount of innings. Only three times this year in his 24 starts, he's pitched less than five full innings. You could see four, four, three. Besides that, he's gone five or more in every single game. So good to see that he'll be out there a lot. Obviously, we're going to get more chances for him to give up hits the longer he's out there. Also, 
Texas, about in the middle range here against right-handed pitchers. As far as batting average, Keller hasn't faced these Texas Rangers that much, but the guy who's faced him the most here, Grossman, eight at-bats against them, hitting 625. So we know at least one guy likes to hit against him here in this lineup. We also got Texas here as the one-and-a-half run favorites in this game. So liking Keller to give up a good amount of hits in this one. So let's go ahead and put this in over here. And then for the next one, we're going to we're going to Walker Bueller under on two and a half earned runs. So this is one where, you know, this doesn't tell the whole story. In two of nine games, he's gone under this total. So not looking good as far as this graph. A bunch of games with three earned runs, so barely getting over this one. But we can filter by home games. He's 50-50 on this in home games. So much better pitcher in home games. The only two games this year have been at home where he's gone under this amount of runs. Also, Seattle has been one of the worst hitting teams in the league this year. They are last in batting average in the entire MLB at 218 against right-handed pitchers. And their slugging percentage here is 27th near last as well so getting a great matchup here we can also see for Bueller some of these batters he's faced so Rojas he's faced the most hitting 231 off him no home runs no RBIs Hanger hitting 333 with two home runs and then Robles here is hitting 375 but no home runs or RBIs against him and Bueller is another guy over here on Odd Jam that these sports books are liking. Minus 135 DraftKings and MGM. Across the board, you know, it's basically minus 133 or higher for this one to go under. So they're all liking it. These picks I give you guys, I do check on Odd Jam as well. And the extra picks that I give in the private Discord, you guys can get in there. Code MLB, you get 20% off any of these passes. I give out more picks in all sports, but we have five plus other cappers in there. We've been getting a lot of big hits in the MLB this season, as well as WNBA, PGA when that is rolling. So definitely check it out as well as prop projections. You get access to the spreadsheet. I found that the projections have been fairly on point all year. Yesterday, I checked the top four. They all hit. You can use that link down below to join for free. They will send out the occasional free spreadsheet, or you could sign up and join for just a dollar per spreadsheet and select how many you want to get per month. So check those out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, check out another video here on prop projections or the WNBA video that we made for today. Subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the Discord.